how to make a free website with Google Sites. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own free website using Google Sites with free hosting and a free web domain. And this is a very easy and simple method for you to get started with creating your website. May it be for your personal use, business use, or for any other kind of project. So let's get into it. Now, all you have to do is you go on to Google and then you're just gonna search for Google Sites and you're going to click on the top link over here and once you click on that you can see this is going to directly lead you to google sites if you have logged on to your chrome account so if you have your google account logged in on chrome it will automatically log that in over here and if you want to sign into a separate account to build your sites you can also do that if you have to use your work email you can sign up with your work email from over here and once you have done that, what you're just going to do is you can see on your top, you have your template gallery. And if you click on the template gallery, you have different types of templates that you can use to get started with building your site. Or you can click on blank over here and start with a empty canvas for you to begin uh, your own website development. Now, uh, I am going to begin with a blank website. So we're just going to click on blank over here. And let's say I just want to create like a fashion landing page. So first off, I'm going to add my title page which is going to be fashion forever like so and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the text and i'm going to choose the font that i want i'm just going to take a look at the different fonts and i'm going to just browse around for the font that i find the most attractive yeah, so I think I'm going to go with this font and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the size of the text. So I'm just going to select the text and I'm going to go and make it a bit smaller. So instead of 64, I'm going to input 50. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my header type. So you can choose a cover header, a large banner, a banner, or a title only. So this is what a banner looks like. I'm going to go with the cover header and what I'm going to do is I'm going to resize this block and i'm going to drag it and place it on one side of my header or the basic header that i have and i'm going to click on change image and i'm going to upload my own image so i don't have any images so i'm going to click on change image i'm going to click on select image and i'm going to click on search i'm going to just search for fashion and i am going to use one of these images I'm going to click on select like so and after adding this image you can see this is what my website is looking like now i'm going to change the color of this text so we're going to go into our text color and i'm going to make it like a navy sort of blue like this now what you're going to do is i'm going to click on add site name and i'm going to make it fashion forever and i'm going to drag this to the top of it and I'm going to click on text box over here and I'm just going to take this text box and place it down below. So I'm going to place more text. Know the gist of fashion and its history like so. And after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a button over here that will lead to a learn more page. So first off, I'm going to create the page. So I'm going to go into my pages section on the right and I'm going to click on add. And I'm going to click on this page will be information or read more. I think I'm going to go with info like so. And then I'm going to go back into the insert section. And I am going to scroll down and you can see you have buttons, you have dividers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into the home page first, click on insert, and I'm going to add a button which will be named read more. And I'm going to add the link and this will lead to the info page. I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to drag this button over here. And I'm going to place it right over here. So after that, I'm going to redesign the button a bit. I think I'm going to just drag it over here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go onto the pages section, go into the info section. So I'm going to go into the info page and I'm going to remove this text block. And I'm going to change the header type to title only. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on insert. And now you can see on your right, you have different things that you can insert, whatever your website might be about. So let's say I want to add a image carousel. So I can just inserting images. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select a few images off the internet. You're going to upload your own images, of course, but I'm just going to go with a Google image search and I'm just going to go on over here. I'm going to use fashion and I'm going to go once more and I'm going to go into search and I'm going to search for fashion girl and I'm just going to select a few images like so. And after I have selected my images, I'm just going to click on insert and now I'm just going to click on insert. And now you can see my image carousel has been added. So I'm going to replace this into the center. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my header and I'm going to minimize it as much as possible. So this is how small my header can be. And I'm just going to place this image carousel at the center. And now you can see you have this little section and you can click on settings and you can take a look at the different images so you can click on add text on the image or add caption to add that as well i'm going to leave it like it is and i'm going to click on section colors and i'm going to give this section a solid color like so or i think i'm going to go with the gray color and i'm going to go with themes and i'm going to apply the impression theme like so and now you can see I have my basic website, I have my home page, I have my info page. You can create more pages just like I did over here. So you can create a uh, add more, you can create contact pages, you can add your social media links, you can add whatever your website requires. You can add that over here and then you're just going to click on publish and then you're going to choose the web address that you want. So I just want fashion forever and Google will see if this is available. So this is taken so I can just add a number. And now I'm just going to click on publish and now my site has been published. I can just click on view over here and you can see this is what my website is currently looking like. It looks so professional and so neat and it just really provides you with an interesting look. So this is what my website page is looking like, the images and everything looks very neat and nice and easy to use. So we are about to end this video and to end it on a good note, I would like to request you guys that if you found this video helpful or if you found this method exactly what you wanted or what you were looking for, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and sharing it with your friends and family who might learn a thing or two from this video or learn a thing or two from the hundreds of videos that we have on our channel and of course if you have any questions any queries about anything in this video or with related to our entire channel or any of our videos make sure to leave a comment down below and ask us what you want from our videos i tried to cover everything i could in this video but if you want to see more details of the methods or the ways in this video just let me know in the comments down below and I'll be sure to make more videos on your suggestions. At the end of the day, it's all about providing you guys with valuable content that could help instill a positive change in your life and hopefully your friend and family's life as well. And at the end, I would like to request you to make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel as it helps out our videos a lot. And again, thank you so much for watching. Till next time, goodbye.